Here's game two of a 678 series. I shoot a 220 here. Let's take a look. This follows a 243 with a 215 to follow. Here I have a low speed high hit four pin, which is a very simple spare. I just move seven boards right of my approach position for a strike ball, throw my strike ball using the same strike target. Come to the second frame. I miss way right here. Almost put that one in the right channel. Uh, leave a 124 there. Pretty simple to pick up this line spare. I'm going to move three boards right of my uh, position uh, for my strike ball on the approach. Throw my strike ball with my strike target. Pick up that one, two, four. That brings us to the third frame. Now in the third frame, I'm going to miss way right here. This is a very light hit. And should have been a two, four, five, eight bucket, but the head pin and the four pin do a lot of damage there. I just leave a very simple single pin spare. The five pin, which I'm going to convert by moving one board left of my approach position. Throw my strike ball. Convert that pretty easily. Brings us to the fourth frame. Here I'm going to miss right again on the right lane. I uh, leave a 1, 2, 10 here. Don't even quite get to the head pin. A little bit uh, upset about that. But it's a fairly simple spare. I move three boards right of my uh, strike position on the approach. Just throw my strike ball. Convert that 1, 2, 10. It's a difficult spare. It's uh, more difficult in some splits, but I usually get it. You know, it's not too bad. The head pin's still standing, so technically it's not a spare. And then we come to this. I reward myself here with this strike here in the fifth frame with that two. Love tapping the six out. Two pin off the sideboard. Comes back and rolls across. Gets the six. Brings us to the sixth frame where I get a double here with a light hit strike. Rewarding myself still off that one, two, ten conversion. Then we come to the seventh frame. I'm going to get a ringing ten here. Six pin flies around the ten. Leave a ringing 10 there. I'm going to pick that up with my spare ball. You see my strike ball and the ball return there. Use my spare ball, stand on 32, throw it straight at it. Brings us to the 8th frame here. I'm going to sail right and leave the dreaded 5-7 spare, which is a split. Not too happy about that, but it's not a terribly difficult spare. I'm just going to move four boards left of my strike position on the approach and throw my strike ball to get a beautiful spare here, and that's going to give me a surge of confidence, and I'm going to reward myself with a four-bagger afterwards, as I always reward myself after a split conversion. Here it is. Unfortunately, you don't quite get to see it, because I'm kind of standing in the way, but I just get the ball to the right of the five pin, knock it over into the seven. Not a bad job there. We come to the ninth frame, where I'm going to get a textbook-style strike here. This is a beautiful shot in the left lane. Just stunning. Perfect strike there. All ten pins in the pit. We come to the tenth frame. Another uh, textbook style strike here absolutely beautiful shot here finally get the ball back in the pocket on the right lane beautiful shot brings us to the 11th frame here a little bit lighter the ball just barely trips the five pin here the head pin goes to the sideboard does a little bit of damage but uh, still a pretty good strike just a little light see a little bit of action there that you don't normally would see with a perfect strike and back I make a little adjustment here go a little bit outside the oil get the ball back in the pocket for another textbook style strike there in the 12th frame nice game 220 with six strikes six spares and no open frames and rewarding myself very well for the split conversion.